Kamala Harris's debate proposal to tackle the housing crisis with federal subsidies exemplifies the left's belief that more government spending will fix everything. Harris plans to build 3 million homes over four years and offer a $25,000 credit for first-time homebuyers. While this sounds promising, critics argue it could further strain the economy, increase inflation, and ultimately fail to deliver the intended relief. The estimated cost of Harris's housing plan exceeds $795 billion, factoring in construction and homebuyer credits. Beyond financial hurdles, logistical challenges such as limited building supplies, labor shortages, and local regulations make the plan overly ambitious. The U.S. currently builds 1.4 million homes annually, so doubling that number within four years is unrealistic. Critics also note that the Biden-Harris administration's inflationary spending has already made housing less affordable. As the Fed raises interest rates to combat inflation, mortgage rates are spiking, making it even harder for first-time buyers to save for down payments. Throwing more federal money into the mix could drive prices up even further, similar to what's happened in healthcare and education. Moreover, past federal programs like the Broadband Equity Access and Deployment Initiative and electric vehicle charging station efforts have fallen short, casting doubt on whether Harris's housing plan could achieve its goals. In the end, Harris's proposal mirrors the left's tendency to rely on government intervention. However, critics argue that real economic growth stems from private sector investment, not massive federal spending.